Hello everybody. Welcome to the fourth lecture. In the last lecture, I taught you some basics about QTP data table. Right. So today, I'm going to take up an example of QTP data table, and I'll search three things in Google using, and I'll generate a script which searches three things or three search terms on Google.com. For example, it will search QTP, then it will search HP, and then it will search Selenium on google.com I'll name my column as search column and before that I'll record a simple google opening and search script right so what I need is I need to modify the script now so that it searches first is first the script should search QTP then HP and then selenium right so first uh, what I'll have to do is I'll have to instead of this search term hard coded here I'll have to read it from the QTP data table okay, this is typo here I'll correct it right so what now um, now I'll have to now I want my script to first open Google search Go QTP in Google then open Google again in the same browser and search HP and then open the Google home page in the same browser and search for selenium so I can write a for loop here I can put these three lines in for loop as we had read earlier right loop statement for loop for some iterator i which starts from one goes to number of rows in data table that is data table dot get row count and put these three into the for loop and in the end data table dot set next row this will move the cursor to the next row after searching the first line and I'll make the file run settings to run only by nitration this is because we in the earliest class we had started we need to do this when we are moving the cursor ourselves so here we are moving the cursor ourselves so we'll set the I uh, data table settings to run only one iteration so what the whole code will look like the first two lines will open up a browser and sync it then we'll navigate to Google we'll search QTP here then we'll click on the Google search button after that the cursor will mo move to the new line that is HP then it will go back to google.com and search HP and then selenium if I run my script All right, it started. Q it, it has searched QTP and HP. Now it's going back to Google.com, and it will search Selenium. Right. So this is how it works.